What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, though? Welcome to the T-A-G-T Show. I'm your host, Mr. Snake. And every morning it's time you can turn your dials to 810.5 WFLNT Radio. That's right, y'all. It's early morning. I need you to go show us that beautiful horse smile you got. Wipe the coal out your eye. Grab a cup of coffee. Sit back. Relax, because I need you charged up and attentive. Welcome to the show. Let's get into some headline news. Good morning, good morning, good morning, people. Yes, indeed. Today is March 25th, 2020, 2020, y'all. Yes, indeed. It's 11.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we're rolling southbound 75 in Florida, picking up a load, going to the great state of Memphis, Tennessee. Shout out to all my family in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, Covington, Tennessee, to be exact. Absolutely, y'all. So I hope y'all feeling good out there, man. Um, I want you to keep your heads up, man. And I'm praying for everybody that uh, that is affected by this, man, mentally, physically, financially. I'm definitely praying for you. I'm Mr. Slate, your host of the T-A-G-T show. I'm here, man, and I'm here to keep y'all updated with the uh, latest headline news that's going on out there. Um, And this is a a podcast for trucking as well as um, what's going on out here around the country and uh, sometimes what's going on around the globe. Um, <clears throat> as we get bigger, we will dive into these headlines, man. We'll dive into them and we'll dissect them. And hey, if y'all have any suggestions, uh, anything, any news that you want to report in your area and you just want to help out the movement, the podcast, man, um, you can hit me on Mr. Slate 810 at gmail.com email me also man if you need your spirits lifted there's something special going on in your life or you just need a shout out to make you feel better man shoot me an email mr slate 810 at gmail.com and i'll give you a shout out i'll definitely um take your suggestions and also your constructive criticism man you want to you know what i'm saying you want to lean in and let me know, hey, man, you know, you, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that or you should do it this way. You should do it that way. All your suggestions will definitely be considered. So let's dive into these headlines, man. Um, it's worst day yet, man. Uh, Wednesday, over 200 reported deaths uh, just in one day due to this coronavirus, man. It's spreading like wildfire. Um, this has been the worst day yet in the nation. Uh, prayers go out to the family members and um, everybody affected uh, just totally, man. But that is crazy, man. It's getting worse and worse, y'all. It's getting worse and worse. But uh, I believe we can make it through this. You know, we've made it through a lot. We can definitely make it through this. I have a question. Where where the heck is the CDC representatives, man? And if you think about it. Any little thing that goes down to deal with any type of infectious disease or, you know, even with the uh, this past summer when people were, was having uh, complications with the uh, vaping, the CDC stepped in. They were all on the TV and all over the news, all in the papers and everywhere. But now this is going on where people are canceling out left and right i haven't seen any representatives up there in the in the you know in our faces i haven't seen it i haven't seen it i have not seen any interviews on the news i haven't seen any interviews or nobody making statements or anything but i am being told through connections and hospitals that you know they're CDC is telling them to keep a hush hush on certain things, you know, so I don't know what's up with that, man. That's kind of weird. I don't know if I'm the only one that noticed that, but yeah, that's 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 kind of weird. So let's talk about this stimulus package, man. 
two trillion dollars. That's a lot of money, y'all. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know this. Y'all, y'all already know how I feel about this this stimulus package. It's, it's I think it's a good idea, but we're gonna pay for it some way, shape, form, a fashion in the future. Two trillion dollars. That's a lot of money, man. We already in debt. We already having trouble uh, taking care of certain things and and doing things that as a nation that needs to be done because we broke. So, I I mean, my suggestion, hey, man, like I said in previous uh, episodes, if you don't need that money, man, don't fight to get that money. And if you do get it, make sure you do something for the less fortunate, man. Even if you take somebody a case of water by the house and some toilet paper or maybe a sack of groceries, you know what I mean? Now, I'm telling you, this is for people that are straight. If you straight, you good to go. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you got a little change or, or you're still working and somebody's not working that you know. Hey, man, shoot them a little sack of groceries, man, a case of water and, you know, toilet paper and some personal products or something like that. You know, even, you know, go as far. That's what I'm going to do. You know, hey, man, we're going on a shopping spree up at Marshall's. You know, take you to Ross or something like that, you know. But, yeah, definitely keep that in mind, y'all. But this $2 trillion, they're getting close. They're getting close to they got they, they got their plan mapped out, uh, where the money going to go. And, you know, and don't be fooled. This is not done for y'all man this is done for the banks these big corporations um things like that they're not doing this for us they give us a little funky little twelve hundred dollars just to you know keep us quiet but these corporations and these banks they're gonna be getting billions man they're gonna be getting billions these big companies yeah they're gonna be getting billions of dollars and we just gonna get the leftover crumbs. That's what it is. So don't think for one second that, you know, oh, they doing this for us. This is so great. No, it's not. Cause guess what? You are gonna have to pay for it on the back end. One way, shape or form, one shape, one way or another, you gonna have to pay for it. And it's gonna be in small increments where you're not really gonna notice it, but you're gonna pay for it. Something is gonna go up. Gas, toilet paper, they gonna get it. They gonna get it back on the back end. That's how they do. That's how they work, man. They always get it back on the back end. Well, it looks like hospitals are considering a universal do not resuscitate order. So pretty much if you cancel out on the table due to the COVID-19, they ain't even going to try to bring you back. It's going to let you go. You know what? brought this decision up i mean i have my theories uh diving into the article deeply they're really not pointing up they're really not putting their finger on why this was why this is being done but it could be because it's too many people to keep up with maybe through experience of trying to help and bring people back it's just not working who knows but you still should try you know, you never know. I mean, I I don't know, man. It's a hard thing to do, man, because you don't want nobody to suffer like that. You know, <laughs> looks like we got a uh, Russia. Uh, they case count is low. They putting out there. Like I said, man, they right next door. So this is it just, it just makes me right. Raise an eyebrow. What are these countries doing that we're not doing? Why is it hitting so hard? In the Western countries, man. Why? You know, like I said, I have my my theories, but I'll keep that stuff to myself at this point in time. But it's just it's just crazy, man. I believe we being target targeted. We definitely being targeted. Um come on CDC. We need to see y'all, man. We want to hear what y'all got what y'all got to say. You know. We want to see what y'all got to say. Y'all got to y'all got to show face, man. Y'all got to come up. What do y'all think? I think they need to, you know, come on out, man. 
Come on out from behind them desks, man, and up in them high rises, man. Come on down here and let us know what's going on. But, um, yeah, as far as trucking, y'all, uh, we rolling, man. I, I've actually had my best week ever. Um, and I'm exhausted. That's why in the last episode... I woke up and I said, damn, man, I, I need to do an episode. And I was trying to be quiet to respect someone else's resting time. And I sound like I was, <laughs> I don't know, man, but I know y'all heard it or whatever. <clears throat> I got some feedback on it and it won't happen again. You know, some people liked it, of course, and, you know, some people just was like, nah, that ain't it. You know what I'm saying? I really wasn't feeling it myself, but I got the content out to you guys. Um, and like I said, that'll never happen again. Um, I, I, I'll definitely stay on top of things, man. Definitely. I would definitely stay on top of it. Um, they're letting people know, man, if you have the uh, coronavirus, man, you need to shout it from the rooftops, man. Let everybody know you got it. <laughs> you know, let everybody know you got it. So, you know, if you got it, man, you got to shout from the rooftops. Now, let us know. But as uh, far as trucking, like I was finna get into, man, um, we rolling and uh, I'm exhausted at this point in time. I really am. I'm tired. I haven't seen my kids, really, my family, because it's just run, run, run. You're supposed to take a 34-hour reset every 70 hours, but we're doing what is called recapping our hours right now, man. We rolling, recapping hours, staying busy. Um, really haven't had time to go home. We get to stop by the house, maybe shower, chill, sleep for a second, and it's back on the truck and back going. That That's happened a few times, but it's not enough time to actually go see loved ones and sit down with loved ones. Um, it's just not. So, yeah, man, we still waiting on um, iHeartRadio and Google to accept and maybe like one more I can't I, I keep forgetting that podcast platform um, <clears throat> but shout out to all the other platforms that has accepted us and report and, and, and uh, supported us uh, you can definitely catch us on Facebook the T-A-G-T show you can definitely catch us on YouTube Mr. Slate 810 you can catch us uh, Twitter, Mr. Underscore Slate, 810. Um, you know, we trying to get everywhere, man. We trying to get all over the place, man. Y'all don't forget to email me, man, and uh, let me know what's up, man. I, I don't mind doing the shout outs and, or, or shouting out special events. Even if you want to promote something <clears throat> at this point in time, man, whatever I can do to help you get your stuff off the ground or anything man give me a holler man mr slate 810 at gmail.com uh today is march 25th 2020 it is 11 57 p.m and i want to thank y'all for tuning in to the t-a-g-t show w-f-l-n-t channel 810.5 uh we're gonna go ahead and sign out i'm gonna get some rest and uh get up man so i can so i can hit it get up here to memphis and then uh we'll see what's next man so like i said man um i'm going ahead and sign off man my prayers go out don't forget to get at me man and i thank you for your support this is the tagt show y'all have a good morning man